just need a girl who gon' really understand I just need a girl who gon' really understand Okay, so I just finished my breakfast. I literally just had an apple strawberry applesauce and then I had some cranberry juice and some water. Um, I have a whole list of things I want to do today, but um, I don't do all this in the morning. Afternoons for me or nighttime routine for me would be more relaxing and taking my prenatals and you know, drinking my tea, my red raspberry leaf tea, um, considering I, I give birth next month, which is April. But yeah, so my afternoons are more chill. And my mornings are just get whatever I can done. Later on tonight, I'm going to do laundry. I'm probably just going to make the bed now and clean up a little bit. And then I think we're going to end off the video because today was more of a chill day. I think we're going to en end off the video with me making or setting goals for this month because it is now March 1st. Um, so it is the start of a new month and I would like to write some new goals because this year I'm working on, instead of setting goals for the entire year like everybody else does on January 1st, uh, I'm doing like this thing where I set goals for each month like February I set a goal like a bunch of goals for February and I broke down the goals that I want to achieve and I made them into like more achievable goals so like I break them down say I want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year um, I broke down it into smaller pieces and I put I want to reach 400 which I'm only, I think, 15 away from that. So I put down 400 for February. I didn't reach it, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to put it down again. I think I'm going to put down 500 for this month. So 
that's one goal i broke it down and then the next month i'll just keep adding it and adding it until i reach the goal i want to achieve and that goes for any other goal like you can just break it down for the month and it's just so much easier you achieve it faster and it's just more achievable Okay, so I just finished planning out my goals for this month. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I highlighted the ones that are most important to me. Um, obviously, the rest are just as important, but like some of them I feel like are more important to me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys in a minute what I put down. I'm also going to be going over my vision board. Um, because I like to look at that every day. It motivates me and that's why I made the vision board. It has all my goals on it for this year. But I just wanted to break down some of my goals because it's just easier for me. And I can look at my goals every day for this month. And I can look at them every time I wake up and I can just look at what I need to complete this month. I can take my goals, look at them and think what can i do today to get me closer to those goals so i obviously put goals for march 2022 and then i put 60 subscribers on youtube or sorry 600 i don't know why i said 60 600 subscribers on youtube because i feel like i can get there and then the staying consistent on youtube also goes hand in hand so post at least every other day I'm not going to worry about that posting every other day too much just because I'm pregnant and I give birth literally next month. So I'm not going to worry about that part too much, but definitely the staying consistent. At least four hours of work every day, planning, editing, filming, um, waking up earlier at least 9 a.m., planning out my days the night before. I want to do that definitely. It just, it's way better easier because i know what exactly what i'm going to be doing the next morning um and then drinking more water because i'm pregnant i definitely want that one to be a must and then the staying organized at least 30 minutes of cleaning every day and then skincare at least once a day because again i'm pregnant so motivation isn't that great you know so i just want to at least once a day skincare but i've been doing pretty well the past two days i've been doing it twice a day but yeah so those are my goals i'm going over my vision board as well i'm going to be planning out some videos as well 
But yeah, that's basically my mornings. I try and get as much done in the morning as I can because I like to have my, again, my afternoons relaxing and doing ball exercises, getting ready for birth. I like to drink my tea then. I take my prenatal. I like to watch some YouTube. Um, I'll do like minor things in the afternoon, but I mostly like to do everything in the morning. So yeah, I've done my skincare. I've done, I made my bed. I cleaned up a little bit and organized i planned out my goals for this month that i'm going to go over every day i woke up at a, de a decent time it wasn't 9 a.m but it was a pretty decent time i think i woke up at 10 a.m um and i did a bunch of things i ate i drank at least one bottle so far of water so i'm already a step forward to my goal yeah, so I'm going to drink one water bottle in the morning and one in the afternoon because at least if I know I'm drinking two water bottles plus I drink juice as well, I'm pretty much like set. Um, and I eat right away, so I already ate. Sometimes I shower in the mornings, but I actually don't, I haven't done the laundry yet, so I have nothing to change into. So I'm just going to shower after we do the laundry, which is going to be this afternoon. Yeah, so that's my morning routine. Um, my mornings could look different like every day. It just depends on what I have to do that day. Um, sometimes it's planning, sometimes it's editing, sometimes I'm filming, which I'm doing right now. 